we will discuss how to control room heat in individual rooms for hot water baseboard, for steam systems, and for hot air. Very few houses have separate thermostats in every room, and this is going to help you adjust them for each of the different rooms. Thank you. Hello, this morning I'd like to talk about how to do some fine adjustment on a hot water baseboard radiator. As you're aware, there are certain houses have zones where one thermostat will control several rooms. So if you're finding that the living room's comfortable, but say your bedroom that's on the same zone is too hot, there's a very easy way to adjust and reduce the heat somewhat in the bedroom. Let me show you, here's, here's a radiator, typical radiator. There's a, there's a little damper on the top. If you close that, that will reduce the heat in that room. And why that occurs, we have the radiators here with the hot water going through them. Air comes down, cold air comes here, gets heated up, rises up, and comes out into the room. Very simply, that's how it works. If we can block that by turning this, then you're gonna reduce the amount in that particular room. So that's all there is to it. The, if your um, bedroom's too cold, and the living room is uh, too hot, and the thermostat's in the living room, then what you can do is close these in the living room you know, bring that temperature down a little bit, and then it help increase the temperature in the bedroom or whatever other rooms you're dealing with. I hope this helped you, and have a great day. So here's a steam radiator. You can tell because it, it's got, this is a one pipe system. Most of them in our area are. There's a shutoff valve here, and there's an air vent here. That shutoff valve should only be used if you're totally shutting it down. No, you don't throttle with it. If you did, it would, it would tend to fill the radiator with water and start leaking out. We don't like that. Now the, um, the vent here, this air vent, there's a little hole here. It lets air out so steam can come in the radiator. This particular one has an adjustment on the bottom to adjust how hot the radiator actually gets. And that's it. That this is how you adjust them. Some have slides on the sign. Some are not adjustable. But if you, if you have a, a twist on the bottom or a little lever on the side, you can adjust it. Okay, I hope this is helpful. This is Drew Finn from Finn Home Inspecting, the House Wise Guys. Have a great day. For hot air systems, you'll have an adjustable radiator for every feed that comes into a room, sometimes multiple per room. And on this one, you can see there's grates on the top. There's a second set of grate, two grates underneath. When those are rotated 90 degrees, as I'll show you in a second, it's closed or you can go part way. Okay, here we go. See how they're closed underneath? Not completely, but it's blocking the flow. Then I reduce the heat and you can go in between to uh, get something less than total blockage. Okay, so how you do it is you, on the ends there would be a lever or like a little dial. And this is what a lever one looks like. And you slide that back and forth and then turn those grates underneath and restrict the flow. So that's how you adjust them in each particular room. Now, if you're looking at the radiators in the room or the grates, you see one without a lever, that's a return. And that's always going to be cold. During the winter, you put a hand over, it's going to feel cold. It doesn't have anything to do with your heating system's not working. Okay, I hope this has helped you guys. This video was brought to you by Finn Home Inspectors, servicing the Berkshire County area for over 37 years. If you need a superb home inspection, give us a call at 413-684-2019. Thank you and have a great day.